Midsummer Festival is Sweden's biggest tradition, and today we are getting into the Stockholm celebrations. But not everything goes according to plan. It's my first time experiencing this mesmerizing festival, so naturally, something goes wrong. But the magic is not lost, as we find ourselves back in the Renaissance era, getting deep into the culture, and seeing what Stockholm has to offer during the longest day of the year. It all starts with a popular tradition that involves a bathing suit. You can't do midsummer without a dip in the water. Although I hear that skinny dipping is something that you're supposed to do, but it's a bit more difficult in the city. Come on! If I can do it, you can oh, do it. Oh god. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Keeping it PG for the city on YouTube. Our dip was cold but covered. This guy, Neil, our really good friend, lives here, and it was his crazy idea to start the day off like this. I found my long lost cousin! <gasps> There's just a bunch of trolls in this little park forest. <gasps> the trolls of the park and the internet couldn't keep my attention long though because there was a festival waiting. Gamla Stan, baby! This is one of two popping places in the capital this time of year. Time to do something super duper Swedish. Tika. This is my first real fika because I'm actually with other people. <laughs> fika is a social thing and it can be compared to what hockey is to us Canadians or Guinness at the pub to the Irish or Hygge to the Danish. Mm -hmm. Your first portado. Fantastic. <laughs> That's real coffee. The fi <laughs> That's exactly what I said. The fika brought good vibes. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You might be wondering why we're spending midsummer in the city of Stockholm. Originally, I had planned a kayaking trip, but because of midsummer, all of the rental kayak places were closed. So we couldn't go to any of the islands to do the cool adventure I originally thought of. We decided that we would stay here, immerse ourselves in the culture here, which is still pretty cool, I think. But normally what people do is they go out into the countryside or out into the islands. But Gamlistan is where it's happening. I say this as I stepped back in time. There was a surprise renaissance fair happening. We're surrounded by people in like traditional dress and they've got like silver making. It's so cool. We watched the ancient craft of silver making and imagine what life would be like in Sweden during the renaissance. Did you know that during this time period, Sweden and Denmark fought for power over Scandinavia? Maybe this is why there's a friendly rivalry between the Scandinavian countries in modern times. Or maybe I'm just nuts. Good? Mm -hmm. So good. With sugar. We're just missing some like mutton and some meat or something, right? There wasn't any meat, so we settled for a pub with some local beer. Mm. Left it up to the guys to pick one. This is what they chose. Rhubarb beer. Oh, so good. Very, very good choice. I think it's from Stockholm. Oh. Yeah, it is. Stockholm, Sweden. There you go. It was finally time. The moment I've been anticipating. Skull. We arrived at the most traditional midsummer festival place that we could get in the city, all the way out to Skansen. But before we could do anything, it looked like midsummer would be ruined. A torrential downpour absolutely soaked us and mixed our beers with rainwater. I thought we would have to leave and everything would be closed. But the festivities went on, or so I thought. Midsummer, they say. Yeah. Come to Sweden, they say. It'll be sunny. Why are my feet so. Why are they so dirty? <laughs> <laughs> Do I even put it back on? This is like a shirt. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. I don't think I'm fine. <laughs> no midsummer would be complete without a flower crown, and it's normal to make your own. Do you know how? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I was really counting on you. <laughs> you look like you're doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's your name? My name is Amy. Amy. Yes. Yeah, hey, hello. <laughs> 
and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you, you told me you didn't know what you're doing. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, oh, this is okay. You look beautiful. Thank yeah. you, thank you. The flower crown symbolizes rebirth and fertility. We just need to get some flowers. Which is ironic for me because this YouTube channel is my baby. So hey, hit the subscribe button if you like the content. Sweden, I am ready to dance. <laughs> I've been waiting very impatiently. <laughs> now this is the Maypole, where the main event would be happening. We're actually at the Maypole right now in Skansen, waiting to dance around it. Hopefully it's gonna happen. We were all ready for anything. All of a sudden, music and dancing erupted all around us. It felt like there was magic in the air as people from all over Sweden danced and played their instruments together. The hive was buzzing. Dancing around the maypole is supposed to be an integral part of the festivities because it embraces and welcomes midsummer for what it is, the season of fertility. news my friends because of the rain earlier they've cancelled the dancing so there will be no dancing around the maypole <laughs> that means we'll just have to come back for another midsummer I'm a little bit choked but I do get it because it's too dangerous it's gonna be too muddy I mean the festival wasn't a total ruin as we still got to experience so much of Sweden's culture and even more importantly spent time together and met new people it truly felt like community They're so good. It was peaceful, beautiful, and all about love. Even for Neil. There you go. <laughs> my name's Neil. I'm a grumpy badger. I get a camera on my face. I'm originally from England, but I live in America. I'm looking for fun. Um, uh, goofy, but also sexy girls. <laughs> um, see the link to my Tinder profile. Really. Yeah. The next stop was beer, and what is supposed to be the best view in Stockholm. Oh, we just came to the best view in Stockholm. What's this place called, Neil? <laughs> yeah, Sudamam Cliffs. Sudamam. If you've experienced Midsummer before, tell me about it in the comments. I'd love to hear your stories. Surmam. <laughs> and here's this guy. He's still going. He's still going. <laughs> it's never a dull moment and definitely a Midsummer for the books. Brava. Midsummer. This is not at all what I expected. Maybe I'm biased, but it's funny that this festival is like a pinnacle part of Sweden. And it's a festival that symbolizes love, life, and fertility, <laughs> from what I also understand. Hence the maypole. The maypole looks like a penis going into the ground. You can see the community and the fact that Stockholm was pretty empty because everybody goes out to spend time with their friends and family. They go out to the countryside to be out close to nature. Like it's just amazing that that is what happens. I would expect nothing less, I guess. I do have to say, I will have to come back and do another midsummer probably in a different place but I would really love the opportunity to learn about the dance because I know dancing around the maypole is something that is so beautiful so sacred so special <laughs> Ooh. sometimes these flowers uh. this is one of the shorter stays that I've had here and it's flown by so quickly and I keep thinking that I'm going to get tired of this place, tired of Sweden, tired of whatever, but it's not happening. I'm actually just loving it even more, <laughs> which I didn't think is possible. There is only a tiny little part of me that wants to go back to Barcelona, Spain. And that's actually just to be with Bella, my dog. <laughs> Everything else, I can just stay here, but uh, no, maybe one day. Feels so much 
like myself here. Anyways, I'm getting a little bit off topic. Wow. Yeah. That's it. And summer's over. <laughs> Time to go home. Wow. I feel at home. Time to go to a place that has my dog. 